<laughs> YouTube team keep it clean hey what's going on it's engraving here with another video and man um whew, what a day today has been uh and it just got that much more crazier earlier uh the Ravens signed Nate McCrary to a future reserve deal it's like all right yeah running backs we run, running backs been rough this year uh our main guys were hurt so this gives us a nice insurance policy just in case then uh, before that, they signed Kevon Seymour to a future reserve deal. Our cornerback's been hurt. Well, this gives us a nice insurance policy just in case. But now, back again, because he, he was drafted by the Ravens. He, they, they drafted him in the fifth round from Michigan. So shout out to the Harbaugh Harbaugh connection. Y'all know how it goes. Um, ben Mason, the Ravens signed Ben Mason to a future reserve deal so ben mason is back in the building this is like a, a geno stone 2.0 situation where they draft a guy and then they like mm, they cut him and then he ends up coming back the following year after spending some time with another team he ends up coming back so we'll, we'll see what happens now um just to give you a quick backstory on ben mason just in case y'all forgot uh, he was a fifth-round draft pick by the Ravens, uh, and they cut him. And they didn't come out and flat-out say it, but you kind of figure, like, they weren't going to keep two fullbacks on the roster. They weren't going to do that. So we knew that he was – well, we thought he was headed, and I think the Ravens thought he was headed uh, to the practice squad. And so they drafted him, they cut him, and probably in hopes that he would clear waivers and then he would go to the practice squad – but he ain't come back. <laughs> he did not come back. And I remember the presser. I, I will never forget the way that John Harbaugh came out there in that presser. Because you knew he was upset. He was upset with Ben Mason. Upset. And he was like, oh, you, you, you could ask him. Because they asked, hey, what's going on with Ben Mason? What happened to Ben Mason? You, you could ask him. You can ask him. And when, when Harbaugh says something like that, oh, yeah. Um, but anyway. They cut him probably in hopes that he would come back to the practice squad so he could stay there. But then he went and signed with the New England Patriots practice squad. And that was that. That was the end of the two fullbacks in Baltimore. So then now this 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 whole situation, it kind of makes you wonder about two huge things when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. Two very, very big subjects because they, they've been quiet. They, they've been extremely quiet. Like, we have not heard a peep out of the Ravens for a long time. They gave us that end of year presser. Well, it wasn't it was kind of the, the end of year player presser. We haven't heard from the front office or anything like that. But they gave, they gave us that end of the year player presser. And after that, nothing. Not a peep. Not one peep. But this makes you kind of... I mean, a lot of our questions had already not necessarily been confirmed, but this kind of confirms it in a way, because one would think that if the Ravens were going to go in a different direction on offense, then they would probably eliminate the fullback position. We know they would still be able to run the ball, but they would probably eliminate the fullback position. Um, if they were going to be really opening up the offense and really just doing some new things. But with them signing Ben Mason to a future reserve deal, this is not its not going to be any crazy guaranteed money. And this does not mean that he would even make the team. Nothing is guaranteed when it comes to this deal. But it kind of lets you know like, hey, Greg Roman ain't going nowhere. And I don't really know anybody who really anticipated Greg Roman going anywhere, um, especially with how quiet the Ravens have been. Even though I've seen some people say, well, maybe the Ravens are trying to figure out a way. They still got stuff going on in the building. Who knows? But we just got to wait and see. But to me, this gives me a nice reminder that, hey, g Row is here to stay this year. And OK, cool. We already talked about what the Ravens need to improve on with g Row staying. And that's fine. Um, but something else that it also lets people know yeah, I mean, it ain't, it ain't over till it's over, but Patrick Ricard, this kind of lets you know, like, that could be it for Project Pat when it comes to the Ravens.
because Project Pat, undrafted rookie free agent, defensive tackle, they flipped him the fullback, so they changed his position. It worked out this time, which was great for him, which was great for the Ravens. And then he ended up earning a second contract. I was like, all right, Pat Ricard, we're keeping Project Pat. And it's crazy because I feel like he just got that contract like yesterday. This contract went by, it flew by, literally flew by. Um, but with Patrick Ricard, I just, I didn't envision a scenario where you pay a fullback a third contract. I just, I didn't see that happening. I really didn't. Um, and as far as a fullback, say for instance, because, again, Ben Mason is not guaranteed to remain on the roster. Say, for instance, if they don't even keep Ben Mason, you could use a tight end at fullback, and that, that'll save you a roster spot, especially on game day when you can only have what, 46 active. That'll save you a spot there, so you can use that for somebody else. <laughs> Maybe James Prochet might be active for once after. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, but, yeah, so Ben Mason is back. <laughs> I hope it's not too awkward. Like, like him and him and Harbaugh. Like, I know John. They had to get on a three-way uh, FaceTime with John, Ben Mason, and Jim Harbaugh. There, there's no way they they had to have got on that FaceTime call with the three of them, so they could really mend this relationship between John Harbaugh and Ben Mason. Cause John Harbaugh is probably like, nope. I don't want him back. EDC was like, no, nah, no, nah, John, now, nah, John, look, we, we probably not going to sign back Ricard. Let, let's bring back Ben Mason. He's a little familiar with us and what? John like, nope, no. He said he was going to come back. We had a handshake deal and he didn't honor it. I don't want him. Then all of a sudden you heard that, that little FaceTime noise. And it was Jim. It was Jim. And EDC said, look, it's Jim. And then they, then they brought in Ben Mason to him. Ben Mason was like, look, man. I just wanted to go play for my hometown team. I, I, I grew up a Patriots fan. I've always been rocking with them. I just wanted to see what that life was like on the opposite end of just, not just being a fan, but being a player for the New England Patriots, playing for Bill Bell. I just wanted an opportunity for that, and I took it. I had to. Don't know when that opportunity is going to come again. That's it. So they squashed it, and, and now Ben Mason, he's back with the pack. Well, I shouldn't say Pack because that sounds like Packers, but you get what I meant. So, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, now, uh, moving forward, um, we, we got a lot of hopes for this Ravens, this 2022 team. Um, we have hopes and we also have expectations. And the two, they can be different from one another. Um, now, we would hope that our expectations end up meeting our hopes. I mean, excuse me, our hopes. Well, no, what am I saying? We would hope that our expectations, yeah, reach our hopes. There we go. A little brain fart there. So because what, what a lot of us expect is not what we hope happens. <laughs> we, but, oh, man, this, this, this whole offseason is just, it's crazy. And it's, it's, it's not even fully started yet. That's the craziest part about this offseason. It's not even fully started yet. We haven't even reached free agency. We obviously haven't reached the draft. The, the, the offseason is not even a full go yet. We still got a, about two months before it officially starts. That's, of course, in the middle of March, free agency. Um, but, man, Ravens, they, uh, they got a lot of eyes on them. And with them not saying anything at all, it, it makes it seem like they're saying a lot all at the same time. But anyway, we'll see um, what happens next. Because, hey, you never know. Pat, they could end up being like, hey, you know what, Pat Ricard? Let's run it back. Cheaper, of course, but let's run it back. Or they could be like, you know what? Go test the market and see what the market is for a, full, a blocking fullback. You can catch two, though. But what's the market for a blocking fullback? Because with Juice... Juice was a nice fullback, but he wasn't just a blocking fullback. Juice, he, he could move, too. He could move. He's like a, he was like a little short tight end. The Juice, hey, he, that boy was nice, man. And I think what, that was his last game as a Raven, right? Was it the uh... – no, it wasn't the Steelers game when, he, um, when we took the lead. No, that – oh, that was it. Oh, that was it, I think. Yeah. 
Was that game? Y'all remember the game I'm talking about? When um when the Ravens were down and they drove down the field, then they did like a a, a draw to Kyle Juszczyk. He took the ball off. He ran somebody over and he kind of like stumbled, then got his balance back and ran it in for a touchdown. Was that week six? Was that week sixteen or week seventeen of that season? Because I don't remember. But then um, I think the Steelers they ended up uh, driving down the field and, and they ended up taking the lead after that. I believe because I'm not. Yeah, we didn't win. We didn't win that game. We took the lead, but we didn't win. I just don't remember if it was that the Steelers or the Bengals. I don't even remember what team it was. I don't even remember what year it was. But I remember that being one of Kyle Juice checks, one of his last. And one of his best plays uh, all in one. Um, so we're going to see, man. Like I said, we're going to see. But like Ben Mason isn't anymore when it comes to being a Baltimore Raven. We out. <laughs> oh, man. This offseason just been it's just been so fun already, man. Already. And we ain't even get started yet. I love it. Team, keep it clean. We gone.